guys, how are you? Tonight we're going to be cooking and I'm going to make some homemade mac and cheese for the first time. And you want some you want some macaroni noodles or any type of noodles that you want to use. Brandon asked me to use this type of noodle, so I think I'm going to use this type of noodle. Hey guys, it might be a little dark. But you want to start with, you want equal amounts of butter and flour to make a roux. So you want two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. And roux got killed by that ass. Okay guys, I got a tablespoon, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of butter. And if it's equal parts, you want to kind of be precise on it. Just because it's supposed to be equal parts. And you want to melt the butter down first before you put the flour in. And as you're getting your butter and stuff melted, you want to do your water for the noodles. So you just want to fill up a container of water. And put a lid on it because water boils faster when it's covered. Okay, guys, there's the butter. I'm going to get the flour mix in it. I was going to say, don't start throwing our silverware away. And I'm going to put a little extra flour just because I added a little extra butter. And you want to cook this for about two minutes on medium heat. So that you can cook all the flour out of it. The flour taste out of it. And this is what it looks like. You just want to keep on stirring it so it don't burn to the bottom. I'm going to just pour a little bit in at a time. You want these cheese packages to video? No. Oh yeah. Turn around there and show them what cheese is we do. Fancy smancy expensive not Velveeta. And then the fancy smancy mild cheddar. Yes. Okay. There's the that butter and cheese. You can put those in the fridge. And you just want to keep on stirring it until smooth and then add more milk. And you can have a piece of the And you want two cups of milk. Oh, you just want to keep on whisking and keep on pouring them out. And then when it comes up to boil, you can add in all your cheeses. But once again, you don't want to let it go because if it burns, then it's going to be bad. As we're waiting for it to come up to boil, I'm going to add some salt, about a teaspoon, some pepper, about a half a teaspoon, some seasoned salt, about a half a teaspoon, whisk that together, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon pepper. And a little bit of garlic salt. Just a little bit. That looks pretty, huh? And you want to preheat your oven to 375. And the recipe calls for shredded cheese. Like, you shred it yourself because the bag of shredded cheese has more ingredients in the bag and it causes a lot of grease in the mac and cheese so they don't recommend using a bag of shredded cheese so we're gonna shred some and then we're gonna put some shredded from the bag on top of the mac and cheese half and half that's the Velveeta this is the Sharp cheddar.
Okay, guys, I'm going to just add in the rest of the cheese. That's what it looks like so far. There's still some chunks in there. You want the noodles al dente, and they're still going to cook in the oven, so you want to cook them one minute less time than what they're supposed to be cooked. So the rigatoni calls for 10 to 12 minutes, so I'm going to cook it for 9 minutes. And when your water starts to boil, you want to add salt to it, probably a tablespoon or a teaspoon. It just depends on what your heart desires. But you want to season it before the noodles go in. So the noodles can go in for nine minutes. Just stir the noodles so that they don't stick to the bottom. Just set it over there. And somebody said today that for you not to oil the noodles while they're in the water because when you put the sauce on them, all the sauce just goes right off the noodles. And I never thought of that. So I'm going to try that and see if the sauce stays on the noodles a little bit longer. Okay, it looks like that's all melted. I'm going to take it off the heat before it burns. Or at least put it on low so it could stay hot. Okay, guys, my noodles are done now. I'm gonna just pour them in the cheese sauce, which I just stirred. So I'm gonna just get these stirred up really quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like before I put it on the casserole pan. Okay, you wanna get you your dish that you're gonna cook it in and spray it with whatever you're gonna spray it with. I'm spraying it with olive oil. And this is what it looks like. And you just scoop it in. Make sure you get all the cheese. Because you want it nice and cheesy. And just spread it out. Flatten it out. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of shredded cheese. A little bit. <laughs> and just put it on top. And put it in the oven on the top shelf for 20 minutes. And why does it matter what shelf you have? The top shelf, it'll get crispy. Oh. Uh, the middle shelf, it'll just melt the cheese. What do you put it to? 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Okay, let's finish our salad now. Sweet. And in here we have lettuce, tomato, jicama, cucumber, I'm gonna put some chicken. mushrooms, and I'm getting ready to put some chicken. Yeah, just a little bit of stuff left I want for my salad because we're having a chicken chef salad with mac and cheese. I have chicken over there on the stove, rotisserie chicken. 
We'll have another mac and cheese. It's in the oven. Are you gonna make it so where like the top is all crispy? So in this salad I have mushrooms, lettuce, jicama, cucumbers, tomatoes, tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and then I'm gonna put the chicken when it cools down. Guys, now I'm just stirring my salad. And that's what it looks like so far. I don't have the chicken in there. Or the dressing or salt and pepper. Here's our mac and cheese, guys. It looks weird because I used the different noodles, but hey, whatever. My sunny bunny wanted them, so. And I didn't want it to get too crispy because I didn't want it to get too crispy. There's the chicken for our salad. I'm getting ready to add some cheese. Yum, look at all those colors. It just added a whole bunch of cheese. I've been craving a salad for the last couple days. And I bought this chicken today and it was good, Ermie and Brandolina. Sick Brandolina liked it. Oh, the chicken? Yeah. And I'm going to put some ranch on mine. Get me a little bit of mac and cheese. I don't know if I like the crispy noodles. I think I would like the non-crispy. Yeah. Is that what you like too, is the non-crispy? Well, it just kind of takes out the flavor. Mm -hmm. Or there's not enough cheese on it or something like that. Okay, guys. So I'm done with my meal. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. It looks so good, don't it? The chef salad and macaroni and cheese. The salad and macaroni and cheese. Do you want more? Yeah, but I'm going to make my plate. What are you getting? Oh, jeez. Do you like it? Yeah. That's Mackenzie's. I just like all the colors of the salad. That's, I love colors. I think it makes your food taste so much better. Okay, guys. I just tried the mac and cheese. I think this is really good. I think I'm going to start making this instead of the box macaroni and cheese. Mm-hmm.